All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the this keyword, T-H-I-S. I'm sure you've seen it before, and a lot of people seem to be kind of confused by it. So I'll explain it really easily. Whenever you see the keyword this, it just refers to the thing that called it. So that's even more confusing. So let's go ahead and look at an example, and it will be a lot more clear. So say that we have a object Bucky and I'm just going to throw a real quick, I don't know, I'll make like a function like print first name, let me add my semicolon, alright. So we're going to have one single function in here, a function and what is this function going to do? Well we're just going to log out two pieces of information. The first thing is we'll just say something stupid like my name is Bucky just so this function doesn't feel completely worthless and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out one more thing right after this I'm gonna say I'm gonna have a test and I'm gonna say is this equal to Bucky so let me type one line of code and I'll show you guys what's going on if we take this object Bucky right here and we call the function print first name remember that I told you guys in the very beginning of this tutorial this keyword right here is just the reference to whatever thing is calling it so of course we can see print first name what's calling it well Bucky's calling it so this test is going to print out true simple enough of course it logs my name is Bucky and of course it logs true right there so again one more time this is just a reference to whatever thing or whatever object is calling it of course we can see really clearly that Bucky is calling print first name so that's easy enough to understand I mean it's right there in front of us the only thing people get a little bit confused about is this what happens when we make a function if I type it correctly if I type it correctly alright what happens when we make a function that isn't clearly part of any object? So, like, do something worthless. So, we're making this function, and okay, it's not really like part or inside of any object. So, if we were to start logging some crap out, let me just put a little indicator be like, um, I'm worthless just so we have some text to print out what happens is this the default calling context I'll actually write this the, the default calling context is global what this means is if we build a function and it doesn't belong to any object it's global which pretty much means your main entire program is going to call it so this is no longer equal to Bucky I'll just test if it's equal to global so I'm going to call do something worthless and check out what happens so of course just like before we kept that I already explained it now when we call do something worthless it's not being called by an object like Bucky was calling print first name it's being called by I don't know what's it being called by like the main program well that refers to global so that's why whenever we test it this is equal to global so again one more time this like I said is just a reference to whatever thing is calling it it can be an explicit object like we can see here Bucky or we can just call it through our main program which means global the global program simple enough thank you guys for watching and uh, probably gonna go eat some hot pockets now see you guys next time